The academic ethos at St Edward's is ambitious for all the children that we look after. Our philosophy of education here is open and liberal. We believe in choice. We are helping pupils learn transferable skills. We really want to encourage breadth of thinking. That we think is a huge strength of the school because pupils here do become their own people. And they can think very much about how they learn best and what will suit them best. They really benefit from a dialogue between their teachers and all of the people that are involved in their learning. You build a good relationship with your teachers. That's particularly helpful in them giving you extra guidance or extra work or extra pointers to try and, and help you progress. Learning to work independently is something that we see as vitally important here at Teddy's. In every year group, we encourage pupils to reflect on their learning, not just what they've learned, but how they've learned. Our curriculum is demanding. We want pupils to think about ideas for their own sake. We see that learners who are ambitious, learners who work well as part of a team, as well as individually, and people who want to go on to achieve in the top of their field. In the classroom at Teddy's, everyone's really supportive of each other and really interested in their subjects. One of the things that stands out to me is collaboration in classrooms. We learn through a lot of discussion and learning from other people. They work together as little groups to encourage one another onto even greater things. It's a much more natural way of learning and in the long run, a much more collaborative and better way of learning and thinking, not just for school, but for life. These buildings allow us to integrate all the different styles of learning in one place. The Oxley Library is what I would like to call the uh, talking out loud library. We have heartless tables in some of our classrooms where people sit around uh, discussing ideas, letting the discussion ebb and flow. You can go downstairs with your friends, have a coffee together in Willows, talk about what you've been learning about, exactly like you would do at a university. I think being in an ancient seat of learning is a fantastic place to situate a school. University City has a lot of museums, there's a lot of places you can visit. That sort of academic sphere expands into the school as well. But we can have professors coming in, giving talks. Pupils here grow up in the real world, right here in the heart of a vibrant city. We'd expect all pupils to ask questions, to analyse, to do their own research, to work collaboratively. Best discoveries in science, the best papers in any kind of academic area of interest are founded on industry and perseverance. And those qualities are really important to us for our pupils here at St Edwards. The IB fits really well with our curriculum that we do throughout the school. Pathways and perspectives are a really great way to learn beyond the GCSE syllabus. We're obviously not constrained by specifications. We can choose through our pathways and perspectives to react to the issues of the day. And questions that begin in class actually find their answers outside of class. So wherever you look at St Edwards at the moment, there is momentum in every area of school life. Children are full of academic talents and it's our job to help them discover the ones that they don't know about yet. <laughs>